Whenever you're working in a wilderness survival situation, especially in the wintertime, and you're dressed with a lot of heavy clothes, you're going to want to start taking some of these layers of clothes off while you work. Otherwise, you're going to wake, work, work up a terrible sweat, and you're just going to get you very wet from the inside out, which will start a whole new survival problem. Here we're going to build a snow cave, even though the snow conditions aren't deep enough to warrant tunneling into the snow. You'll want to remove the snow right down to the ground level, the size of the shelter that you want to build. Next, drag in small shrubs or trees. These happen to be spruce trees here that we're working with. You notice that all the bases are going to be put in one direction. We've got to remove these trees later on. It's sort of a unique type shelter. Unlike many shelters, this shelter is being built without a superstructure. This, this is the superstructure that you're looking at right now, which is going to be removed. You're going to want to pile the brush a slight bit higher than actually where you need your shelter. The weight of the snow is going to push this down somewhat. If you have a large piece of cloth in your survival kit, like we suggest, this happens to be a piece of parachute. It makes it very, very, very nice. It's uh, very light. It takes up very, very little room. And it's really easy to work with. What you want to do now is cover everything completely. The more shrubs that you cover, the easier it is for you to get them out later on. Next step is to pack snow around the edges, all the way around the cloth perimeter. This will hold it in place when you do the rest of your work. From this point on, you're going to roll the snow, work the snow, toss the snow. You don't need any big chunks here. Big chunks will hurt you. You want it like powder. By using this method, this snow will set up just like concrete. You'll want a snow depth on your shelter all the way around of at least eight inches. So break off a stick at least eight inches long and poke it in several places. This will be a depth gauge. It's like putting a ruler in here.
You'll have to leave the shelter sit now for between three and five hours. Test it occasionally until you finally feel it's becoming very hard. When you feel the snow is set hard enough, start pulling out trees. The first two or three are going to be buggers, but after that each one gets easier and easier. You can see why everything was put in here neatly with the butts first. If it was all mumble jumble, you'd have one heck of a time getting it out. Take a stick and put an air hole and a vent hole in the front and in the rear of the shelter. Next, test your shelter for size to see if you have to do any type of interior remodeling. We've got plenty of depth as far as snow goes. So long as you've got more than eight inches of depth, feel free to trim anything that might be in your way or crowd you once you're inside the shelter. Take small spruce boughs and lay them on the floor for a nice, soft, dry mattress. Close off your opening as small as you possibly can and still be able to get in there. Make it nice and strong and firm. Here we've removed that parachute cloth that was in there originally, and now we're going to make a door out of it. Fill the cloth full of snow, bust it up, smash it up, work the snow really well. You're going to take this whole thing and make it into a bag, and you'll pull this in after you so it jams up against the doorway. Once you get a tight seal and you're inside, the temperature of that shelter can be up as high as 28 degrees above, even though it's 50 or 60 below zero outside this trick can save your life. A shelter like this is incredibly strong. This is a little bit overkill, but I couldn't resist.